Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to offer your weekly rune elemental reading for August 17th, 11th through the 17th. If I could talk, that would be helpful. <laughs> um, if you're interested as to why I read for the elements and not the zodiac, you can check that out in a video linked below. And if you are curious about your uh, elemental alignment, because um, I'll go through and give which zodiac signs are under each element, but there is a natal interpretation chart, and I say this in most videos, <laughs> because it is really super uh, fascinating to read. Uh, you can check that out in the description below. It's not an affiliate or anything, but it is pretty cool to check out. And if you're interested in your own set of runes, that is in the description as well. So with that, <clears throat> We will get started with our fire family. Fire covers Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So if you are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, this one is for you this upcoming week. Your first rune is... Find a right page here. And I read intuitively, so we'll start with the words in the book and then see what source brings in. We have Laguz. This is water. So fire, this is not probably your best week. <laughs> uh, your color of deep green, tarot association is the star, astrology is the moon. Unconscious intuition, mystery, psychic awareness, hidden source of creativity. So fire in one aspect, this is working with your polar opposite, which is lunar energy, which is the water energy, but you also have this creative spark that's coming through. So this week, when you, if you're a creative person, if you're working with some kind of an art form, whatever that may be, bring your emotions to the front. Time your, kind of tap into the moon energy, really get to focus on the more feminine aspect of what it is that you're working on. That doesn't mean you have to, you know, go too far into it, but just touch that, that side of life, touch those emotions, that feminine. They're saying this is something about softening, but supporting what it is that you're working on. So your second rune for the week, this coming week, is the Iowaz rune, which is your yew tree. Its color is dark blue. Tarot association is a hanged man. Astrology is Scorpio. Protection, a time of death and rebirth, using foresight and perseverance. So what I'm getting for the fire family right off the bat, or right off the bat, sorry. What I'm getting for the fire family is this week with these two is seeing things from a different perspective, the hanged man energy, but you're also getting that creative spark. So if you've been kind of feeling in a rut or writer's block, which is a nightmare, uh, if that's the kind of stuff that's been happening for you, this week is saying, look at things from a different perspective. Tap into that more emotional, um, more feminine aspect and see if that doesn't shake things up a little bit. They're saying that you've got this uh, creativity under control. Like it's You've got that. Like The gift is there. You've just been kind of having a, an issue with it. And this week is a way to kind of re-examine things, get tapped back into your creativity. Uh, so if this has been a <laughs> little bit of a drought in the creative, excuse me, a drought in the creative world, this is the time to really wake that back up and get moving again. So let's take a peek at our Earth family. And we have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn under Earth. And your first rune is, I believe it's the Ice Rune. It is. It's the Isa Rune, which is ice. Color is black. Tarot Association is the Hermit. Astrology is the Moon. Um, it's an obstacle in, your, in the path. Coldness between people. The time to observe. Keep silent. Refrain from comment. Earth, this week... Don't be the center of attention. Stand to the side. Uh, the hermit is saying step away from the chaos of things. This is not a, for Earth, this is not a week to be hyper social. This is kind of a week they're saying to recover. The moon is saying to work with subconscious energies to tap into, again, the divine feminine aspect. 
And as far as an obstacle, they're saying it, the obstacle is kind of a speed bump. Like, it's not necessary to be obsessive with everything that's going on. Just take a step back, take a breath, allow yourself to be, and by doing so, you're observing. Observing what's going on around you. With that observing, it's going to allow you to possibly miss uh, some unpleasantness that may be coming forward. Um, let's see what your second rune has to offer us. We have Burkana, which is birth. A color is dark green. Tarot association is the Empress. Astrology is Virgo. So this is tapping back into your energy in the feminine uh, aspect. It is renewal, promise of new beginnings, new growth, birth, family, home. When you have these two together, it's <laughs> what they're saying is that you have a lot of things that are available to you, but this is not a time to make the rash decisions. This is a time to step back, uh, really just pay attention, be observant. Um, they're really saying kind of be the wallflower for a minute, and that's not a bad thing. They're saying that you know, some social situations, you've been very active here lately, Earth, which is cool, but also that's leading to a little bit of a emotional battery drain. So this week is the call to step back. There's some new stuff coming forward towards the end of the week. It could liven up a little bit, but just take the time to rest, recuperate, and move forward when you feel led to intuitively this is not a big time for aggressive movement forward for earth so our air family of gemini libra and aquarius you are starting off with soilo the sun rune I believe this is the right one let me double check real quick there's two of these runes that look almost identical and you have to kind of look for where the variance is no, we are in Suilo. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Suilo is the sun rune. Its color is white and silver. Tarot association is obviously the sun. And the planet association astrology is the sun. Uh, rune of good health, happiness, wholeness, clarity, enlightenment, and success. The sun is shining on you, Air, this week. This is a week where you get to shine. Where with our Earth family, it was definitely wallflower for them. That is not the case for air. Air, step into the center of the circle. You are the one that everyone's paying attention to this week. That can be good and bad. Don't fly too close to the sun, Icarus. And let's check out what our second rune. Uh, so <laughs> air, you are the center of attention this week, but don't let it go to your head because your second rune is the Hagalaz rune. And this is hail, color of light blue. Tarot association is the world. Astrology is Aquarius, so this is in your family line, but it's unexpected setbacks or problems, attempts to let things flow, disruption of a natural event. This <laughs> this is an interesting combination, because with this one, Soilo, you're, it is all about bright, it's light, everyone's paying attention to you. Hogalas, if it goes to your head, <laughs> not the best option. This week is calling you to work with your Libra energy, work with your balance, really focus on being okay with being in the spotlight, but not letting it dominate you and become egoic. If your ego gets too involved, then <laughs> problems will be following you. When you have the world and Aquarius, when you have that energy coming in, it's you're, the, you're carrying other people's expectations on your back. It's not just water in this aspect. Because with the world, it's kind of like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, your atlas toting that thing around. They're saying don't let the fact that you're the one that everyone turns to, everyone's paying attention to, go to your head. It's not going to be beneficial this week. But you will be the center of attention whether you like it or not. You're kind of going to have that spotlight on you. But on the upside, with the sun um, coming in like it is, you also have a lot of options things are going to work well this week you kind of have the Midas touch they're just giving you the heads up with the Hagalaz rune don't let it go to your head it's not going to be beneficial <laughs> so let's take uh, do, 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 do move over to our water family here what does water have for this week 
we have our first rune is I think we just saw this rune we did <laughs> uh, water you have the Iwas rune the yew tree color of dark blue tarot association is the hanged man astrology is Scorpio so this is in your wheelhouse so to speak protection a time of death and rebirth foresight and perseverance are your tools this week water you're not looking at things from the standard perspective you're not looking at it from this upright perspective when we look at the imagery with the hanged man in particular he's hanging upside down but he's not uh, unalived <laughs> he's basically learning as like the Buddha and Odin and all the rest of them they are meditation to see the rest of the story you're looking at things from another perspective when you look at this rune it's kind of a hanged situation where the perspective changes but the rune doesn't so when you look at that it's the knowledge of that you gain doesn't change but the perspective of the knowledge does and th sometimes that perspective shift can take baseline truth and be like oh it's true in that situation but it's not true over here a little scientific method type concept going on where you know a plus b equals c but a squared plus b squared doesn't always equal c squared type of concept that's not true but <laughs> you know, there's the the concept of if you test and you test and you test but you change one factor and that's what the hanged man is saying is don't always look at things from the same perspective change the perspective change something in the pattern if the pattern is keeps repeating and it's not helping you change something and that's what water or the hangman is calling you out with this other one and they're saying it's basically a call out so <laughs> let's check out your second rune which is the gibo rune so you've got blessings and generosity coming up color of dark blue tarot association is the lovers and astrology is pisces water you are all in this week this is definitely your week we have um, gifts generosity giving people coming together relationships deepening with these two it's really saying things are not always what they seem this rune is saying to definitely look at things from a different perspective the gift is in the change the gift is in the oddity the gift is in not being the same as everyone else their runes are calling you to <laughs> be your your unique weird self this week it's saying your uniqueness your oddities those are going to be the things that draw people to you it's going to be the time for those new connections and those new growth periods this week pay attention because sometimes things are not always what they seem but that's why you can look at them from a different perspective water this week is going to be it's all you you got scorpio you got pisces you got the more aggressive version of water but then you also have the dreamy pisces that's been there done that probably doesn't remember it but doesn't want to either <laughs> so you've got these energies coming in for water that there's a lot going on for you but there's a lot of gifts in the fact that you can look at things from another perspective just because someone else says it doesn't mean it has to be true look at it for yourself poke around at it turned upside down is it still the same if not then maybe it's not as true as they said but that's the energy that's coming through for our water family so in the upcoming week take care of yourself take the time to relax and rejuvenate enjoy your close circle of friends they're really wanting to say this for all the elements this is a week for kind of homebody stuff not to say that you can't go out and socialize they just are saying it's better to stick within your own personal circle this week um, your support is there and with the exception of air who's like you're golden just don't let your ego get in the way um, everyone else it's just kind of like a home friendly social thing but it's basically deepening the bonds of your certain your group itself so with that I will let you guys go have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next video